One of the coolest things about Bluey is how much love and attention goes into its details and hidden secrets. You probably know some of these already, especially if you're a true fan of our channel. <laughs> but are you sure you know all the curious and fantastic secrets of Bluey? Something that only a few people noticed happened in the episode Army. Jack is the new dog at school, and he joins Rusty's pretend army. Right after being recruited, he gives a soldier salute. The detail that makes this scene so funny to those that catch it is that Jack gives the salute with his left arm, even though soldiers are supposed to salute with their right arm. But this isn't just a subtle joke. At the end of the episode, after going through Rusty's training, Jack gives the salute correctly with his right arm this time. So his military training was really helpful, and he turned into a great little soldier. See how Bluey's story is often told through tiny details? Want to know all 19 hidden secrets in Bluey? Then let's dive in because Cinewave is just getting started. In Bluey, we often find things that remind us of moments from previous episodes, showing us that time actually moves forward in the series and that everything we've seen matters in some way. In Stumpfest, Bandit teams up with Uncle Stripe and Pat to pull a tree stump out of his yard. After they pull it out, it leaves a big hole behind. That same hole is later used to create a pond in the episode Trades. Like I said, everything that happens in Bluey's world becomes important sooner or later. Hardcore Bluey fans watching this video definitely already know about the long dogs, little easter eggs shaped like tiny dogs that pop up in various episodes of our favorite blue pup. You can find them on the floor, on furniture, on walls, behind places. Only those with trained eyes for spotting animation secrets notice them right away. But here's something even some fans don't know. Some long dogs are more than just simple easter eggs. A long dog can also reference what's happening in the episode where it appears, and this has happened more than once. Don't believe it? Let's check out the episode onesies, where Bluey and Bingo are playing with animal costumes. Bluey is wearing an adorable zebra onesie, and her sister Bingo is dressed as a cheetah. And since nothing in this show is a coincidence, one of the long dogs that appears in the episode is dressed as a cheetah too. So cute! In Dirt, there's something similar. Wendy is cutting her own hair, and also her daughter Judo's. And guess what the long dog looks like in the scene where Judo's hair is getting cut? Exactly, it's a little long-haired dog. It's like he's poking fun at them saying, check out my luscious hairdo. Another fun reference to the episode's theme happens in Duck Cake because the whole story is about Bandit baking a birthday cake for Bingo. Then we spot a long dog with a spatula full of frosting on top of the shelf. It's like the long dog stole a bit of frosting to get a taste. <laughs> What I'm about to say might sound silly, but the intro we see in every episode hides a detail that most of us don't notice, even though it's right in front of our eyes. In the intro, we always see Bluey, her sister, her dad, and her mom dancing. But something we don't realize unless we think about it is that they're not just dancing, they're actually playing statues. You know, the game where you keep dancing until the music stops and then you freeze, like a statue? That's exactly what Bluey and her family are doing at the beginning of each episode. How did we not notice this before? If you love Bluey and want to know all the secrets of this amazing show, comment below with hashtag secrets. In the pool, everyone's feeling the heat, so Chili uses a restaurant menu to fan herself. No one thinks much of it when watching the episode casually, but the truth is that this same menu showed up in Takeaway. Look, it's exactly the same! Could it be that the Healer family decided to take one of the menus home? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the animators just had Chili hold the menu in this scene instead of a fan, since that would have been too predictable. Plus, using a menu from another episode makes sense, since most people end up fanning themselves with random items when it's hot. Speaking of items that reappear in later episodes, we definitely have to mention another secret from Dirt. Next to the Healer family's house, there's a strange bird-shaped kite stuck in a tree. But if you think this kite is just a random detail in the background, you're wrong. After all, this bird-shaped kite actually appeared earlier in Past the Parcel as a gift Bingo received. It probably got caught in the tree while she was playing. Hopefully, one day Bandit or Chili will be able to climb up and get it back. The episode Baby Race takes place many years ago when Bluey was still a baby. Here we see that Bandit had a tough time figuring out how to wear his baby carrier. But we know he had to use it again and again, which probably helped him get used to it. We see this in Dad Baby, set in the present day, where Bluey's dad wears the carrier with total ease. So all that practice paid off, and he remembered how to use it even after years of not needing it, since both his daughters are now out of the baby phase. Bingo becomes great friends with a little dog named Leela in the episode Daddy Drop Off. The best part is, after we see how their friendship started, we also see photos showing the two of them together through different stages of their lives, even into college. Their friendship is going to last forever, which is so sweet. 
In these photos, we can spot some details that hint at Bingo and her family's future. For instance, we see that Bingo and her friend will go to the same school as Bluey once they're a bit older. We've already seen that Bluey is packed with secrets, but you know what's not a secret? Our subscribe button. If you click on it, you'll keep getting awesome videos about your favorite shows. The Healer House has some fascinating secrets, and a lot of them are on their fridge, where you'll find tons of drawings made by Bluey and Bingo. You can see this in the episode Perfect. What's really cool is that most of the drawings reference events from different episodes of the show. There are quite a few, like the little red wagon tucked away in the corner, which definitely calls back to the episode Wagon Ride. You can also spot a drawing of Radley and Frisky together, surrounded by hearts, which is definitely a nod to the episode Double Babysitter, where the two started showing signs of romance, and the kids clearly picked up on it, as we can see from the drawing. There's also a drawing of a duck, which I don't even need to explain. Bingo obviously drew it because she loved the duck-shaped birthday cake her dad made for her in Duck Cake. Another reference is a drawing of Socks and Muffin, and this piece captures the personalities of both little pups perfectly. And what about the drawing of Mia? Bluey must have made that one to remind us of Barky Boats, Mia's first appearance. The unicorn on the fridge is definitely a reference to Unicorse, the puppet that Bandit uses for bedtime stories. Due to a better job offer, Bandit nearly sold the healer house in the sign. But did you know there were hints that this might happen over 40 episodes earlier? These hints show up in the Curry Quest, and Bumpy, and the Wise Old Wolfhound. You probably wouldn't notice watching the episodes separately, but after seeing them, it's possible to piece it together once you watch the sign. In the Curry Quest, Bluey's dad goes away for work and returns after six long weeks. Later, in Bumpy and the Wise Old Wolfhound, Bandit is shown looking very thoughtful and quiet while everyone else is having fun. We didn't realize it at the time, but all of this was part of one big storyline leading up to the decision Bandit would have to make in the sign. He's an archaeologist, and had been part of a big discovery during his trip, which led to a job offer that would greatly improve their lives, but would also mean the family would need to move. Since he wasn't sure what to choose, he seemed a bit reflective, and maybe even sad. Especially since his daughters wouldn't like it if he decided to sell their house, which nearly happened in the end. You might have heard that in Bin Night, Bluey starts learning karate and begins the episode with a white belt, then appears at the end with a yellow belt. This shows that time has passed, and Bluey is getting the hang of karate. But did you know that this isn't the only sign of time passing during the episode? An apple tree is shown in a few scenes, and it's another clue that time has gone by. The tree starts the episode with fruit on its branches, with some already fallen on the ground because they're ripe. By the end of the episode, when Bluey shows up with her new belt, the same tree has no fruit left. They all ripened and fell. Snickers is one of the funniest characters in Bluey, mostly because, well, he's a dachshund, which is already enough to make him funny. Plus, he always wears a yellow cap that he never takes off. I mean, almost never. One of the rare times we get to see Snickers without his cap is in the episode Explorers, while he's rolling around on the ground. It's hard to notice because he's far away, but Snickers' cap ends up in the way as he keeps rolling. The other time he's without it is in the short Canine News, where he pretends to be a news anchor. Trying to look more like a real reporter, he takes his cap off and puts it behind the tree stump he's using as a desk. That's the end of the video, but don't worry, just click on one of the two videos on your screen to keep having fun! Thanks, and see you next time!